Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and I wanted to thank all of my subscribers. I've actually hit a thousand subscribers, which is a huge deal for me. I started off making these videos just for my students when I was a teacher, and I'm continuing to do it for you guys. So thank you so much. Please keep subscribing, watching my videos, and of course, always leave comments. I truly appreciate it. So today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of um, end cloth. Um, I have a character here and then I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that she is already rigged, ready to go, and she actually is already animated. This is a very simple rig that I created for her and, uh, and I need a little animation so I can see what the character or what the cloth is going to do. So the next aspect is to actually reveal my, uh, my vest. The vest is right here and it's a little bit um, in the not in the correct area so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that so of course I'm gonna go to my front view and just move the vest it's very important to make sure that uh, your character is uh, aligned and as you can see mine probably during the rigging my character got pushed a little bit but that's okay we're just gonna go, go ahead and fix it another important thing to remember is when you're creating cloth is that you don't really want to um, uh, make sure there's no penetration. So I went, a, I went ahead and uh, froze its transformations and the next part is going into dynamics. So pull down menu, go to effects and you're going to create the body as a passive collider and under end cloth you're going to choose the vest and choose create cloth. And what that means is that the vest is going to turn into a cloth and the passive collider is going to be the geometry. Now, to see the dynamics, you just have to press play, and you can see right away that uh, the character, the vest is going all over the place, and it gets a little, a little uh, deformed. And that's exactly what you're trying to avoid. She's probably moving too fast, and, um, and therefore the vest is just bouncing around. So we are going to have to play with the cloth attributes to be able to fix that. So to do the dynamics again, you press rewind, and then um, I'm selecting the joint, the root joint, which is around her hip, and I'm selecting the keyframes and I'm expanding it, uh, extending it. And the reason why is because when you're simulating, you really need the cloth to actually settle on the body first, and then the then the body moves, and then the cloth will follow smoothly. So I've moved all my keys around. I'm pressing play again, and you can see that the cloth is actually reacting a lot better now. Now it's kind of bouncing around, and you can see that I press stop and. Uh, it's really, really uh, all over the place. So I rewind and now I'm going to play with the attributes of the cloth. All right, so now. So I still feel that she's, she's whipping around too quickly and I need a little bit more time. So I'm extending the time even further, grabbing the cloth, open up its attributes and taking a look at its collisions. Uh, the first thing I really want to do is increase the friction. Right now it's very low. I usually change it to 100 and also decrease the decrease the thickness. The thickness is actually where the cloth, how, clo how close the cloth is going to be to the geometry. So I decrease the thickness and then I press play and then I see the dynamics happen. You can already see that it's acting a little bit better but there's still a lot of bouncing as, but at least with the friction activated it doesn't have to um, it won't slide as much. I also gave myself a little bit more time for animation so that the dynamics actually um, land, um, the dynamics actually settle. So always rewind. I'm looking at the attributes again and then I'm watching it over and, and it's based, that's how dynamics works. You actually have to simulate this over and over and over. So now she's moving a little bit slower so I can see how everything works and it's still sliding around and you can see that it's actually there's actually a lot of penetration, and uh, and it's not, and it's probably too uh, too thin. So I also wanted to show you up at the top right. There's this thing called presets, and there's a lot of choices to choose from. So when you select the presets, I select a T-shirt, and you can see that it's already set up for whatever type of simulation, and then you get to see how it works. And I really recommend that when you're playing around with cloth to try a bunch of presets and you can see that it's not working really well. This preset is actually kind of funny. It's sliding around. Um, it changes everything that I've changed in the past. You know, I've removed um, some of the friction and uh, 
for the cloth. But I can actually go into the actual um, collider itself, which is the, the passive, the, um, the character. She's uh, the passive. And you can actually change her thickness and her friction as well. So that's something really important to remember is that the cloth, the end cloth, as well as the passive collider has attributes that affect each other. So you can see what I'm doing is uh, using the t-shirt material, giving a little bit more friction, giving it a little bit more um, stickiness, and then rewinding and then press play and see what happens. So now I'm increasing the uh, stick stickiness to 0.5. You can see that things are actually kind of settling now around the shoulder and they don't slide around. And I'm getting a better result. Let's see what happens when she finally settles in. I press stop. And there's a couple of things I definitely would need to fix. So I'm going to rewind and I'm going to try a different material. This time I'm going to try the leather. So rewind, press play, and then see what happens. So again, it's all about simulation and finding out which attribute or what is the best attributes that work together to produce the best results. So there's a hole here. I'm having a problem with the sleeve. It's not really falling into place. So, and I'm also having problems with the hair. So I'm trying to hide the hair because I have a feeling that that's what's attaching it to it. So rewinding, you can see that she kind of keeps showing up. The hair keeps popping up. I keep hiding it. And I'll explain why that happens later on. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out why is this hair showing up and why it's affecting it. So keep. So what I did was uh, unparent the hair so that it stops simulating with the material. And now I can see that it's doing a little bit better uh, work. Right, I decided to hide the joints. There's the hair, having some issues with it, the ponytail. I'm gonna try a different preset. I'm gonna click replace. And already I'm getting some interesting uh, penetration there along the shoulder area and the chest area. And whoop, there it goes. So this is the fun part. This is going to be the frustrating part, but the fun part about using end cloth is that um, your character, see I'm trying to move the hair again, uh, you know, you get to simulate, you get to try things over and over and over until it actually works for, for the best. So it does take a little bit of patience. So, you know, it's about fixing it, trying to figure out what's the best for this, uh, for this vest and what's best for the character. So I'm going back and I think the thickness is a little too too short or too small. So I'm increasing the thickness to 0 0.01 and then seeing the results. Ignore the ponytail on her face. And I'm actually pleased with how it's working now. The character is um the character's actually uh it's a little penetration, I can fix it, but at least now the vest is actually formed around her body. And uh and over here it's got a keyframe, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, break the connection for the visibility of the ponytail. So then that way I can just go ahead and hide it and it doesn't keyframe on. So that was the problem. So now I'm doing a smooth um, preview. I froze this transformation so the character is good to go, or the vest is good to go. I'm bringing up the gun, I'm bringing up the, the plane or the base, making sure that the character is actually standing on a base in the middle of the base. She has a cool gun, her vest is ready to rock and roll. There's some lights that, uh, that I've already set up. And now we're going to take a look at the, uh, make sure the camera is placed correctly so we can get a nice render. Now, if you want to keep the vest that way, you just delete the history. When you go and delete the history, you actually, the vest will remain that way. But if you want to animate your character, you can't freeze the history of the mesh.
And I'll pause for a second and we'll watch this render. Okay, there she is. I'm going to go ahead and do a different angle. Maybe a little closer. So we And that is a quick introduction to uh, Encloth with a rigged character that's animated. And how you can use Encloth to... Uh, to quickly warp a um, geometry so that it fits your character. Alright guys, hope that was helpful and I will see you next time.